it's going to be more about just kind of uh, the mindset that you need to have, okay? And so I'm going to kind of walk you through, you know, the beginning of my mindset. So I have been researching ways to make money online for about three years now, right? About three years. And, you know, I spent the first year just kind of researching different ways. And Okay, I'm sure you guys are all falling for this trap, the trap of you're reviewing these things, you're seeing these things, but you're saying, uh, I doubt that that's actually possible. These guys are probably lying about it. Something's going on here. Or you're saying, okay, this guy did a really, really good job at doing this, and that's why he made that money. But if I tried that, I guarantee I wouldn't be able to make any money doing that. Um, I'm just not going to be able to get to the numbers he has or the followers he has, and I'm just not going to be able to make it happen. I guarantee you, every one of you guys are falling into that trap. I fa fell into that trap for years. I was like, you know, I'm not going to be able to do what this guy did. You know, even if I tried to replicate it, um, they're just going to say I'm a knockoff or they're not going to believe me or, you know, they're going to think I don't know what I'm talking about or it's just not going to make me money. It's just not possible to make money online. I fell into that trap for years, guys. Um, and so the most experience I had was in college, I actually would do like online surveys where I would make like 50 bucks a month just filling out surveys, which was cool in college, you know, 50 bucks. I mean, that's plenty, right? <laughs> um, and so that would be like 50 bucks a week, actually, I think it was. So like 200 a month. And so that was my first real taste of making any money online. I would get a check for about 200 a month, uh, $50 a week, um, just filling out surveys. And I thought that that was like really, really cool. Um, and I was like, man, I wonder if there's ways to make actual money online. And I know that a lot of YouTubers make a lot of money online, right? So that's when I started re kind of researching YouTube in general, looking at all these different niches, kind of seeing, uh, you know, what, what, what would be possible. And I kept seeing all these channels of videos that I know they didn't make, right? Um, and so then I kind of started searching, how are they legally doing this? Because I've had a channel for years now. How are they doing this? And that's when I find out about the special license that you can use um, to find videos. And so, you know, at that point, I'm like, okay, this isn't going to work. And this is where it comes in for you guys. You need to at some point stop watching videos and just try things because I know so many of you guys are just watching videos and you're not actually attempting anything. And, you know, that's kind of what I'm going with with this video is you need to attempt things, okay, because I saw that opportunity and I go, this isn't going to work. People aren't going to watch my videos. I'm not going to get anywhere. But I'm going to try it anyways, because what do I have to lose? It doesn't cost any money to make a YouTube channel. It doesn't cost any money to try to repost a couple videos and see what happens. All it's going to cost is a little bit of time, and I think that's where you guys are concerned. You don't want to give effort or time to something that may not make you money. But it's worth it, because if you do that, you actually have a shot of making money. If you don't actually attempt it because you're too afraid um, to either spend a couple, you know, a hundred or whatever on learning how to do it or on, you know, if it's a Shopify membership or a couple ads or whatever it is, um, not only monetization wise, but also time and effort wise, you're afraid of putting that time in if you're not going to get anything in return. But you have to do that to see if it's going to work. And you have to stick with it for at least a week or two to see if it's really going to work. So that's what I did. I literally go, this probably isn't going to work, but I do see an opportunity here. So I am going to attempt it. So I just made a conspiracy channel. And I started posting, you know, 8 to 10 conspiracy videos a day. And I'm like, this isn't going to work. I, I thought it was a joke, you know, but I wanted to try it anyways. And then I sent it to my friends and was like, haha, look at this. Told my girlfriend. She's, I'm like, oh, I'm going to be a millionaire. I'm just kidding, right? Um, and then all of a sudden, you know, I was starting to grow subscribers on the first day, right? And I'm like, wow, this is actually kind of cool. I'm probably still not going to make any money on this because I know you only get three cents per ad. There's no way I'm going to make any money on this, right? A week later, I made like 20 bucks or whatever. And I was like, whoa, 20 bucks. That's pretty, pretty cool. But then like the second week, I was up to $100 a day, okay? And it shocked me. It absolutely shocked me. But it's because I jumped in and tried it, Okay. And so I got to $100 a day within the second week. And then I'm starting to get really excited because right now I'm working at – I was working at First Data at the time as a business analyst. And I was making uh, 46000 a year, which breaks down to about 120 something a day. Okay, so now I'm making 100 a day on YouTube on my second week of just posting these videos that I just jumped in and tried that I didn't think would make me any money. Now all of a sudden it says I'm projected to get $100 every single day. And I'm like, dude, I'm already almost making as much as I made in a day of work just posting videos, you know, for, you know, half an hour. 
And now I'm getting really, really excited. By the third week, I'm already up to $500 a day. And now at this point, I'm freaking out. I'm like, dude, that's like almost five days of work where I got to go in eight hours a day and do what people tell me to do. And I'm already getting that. I'm already getting that in, you know, one day of posting for half an hour. I'm making, you know, five times almost what I was making on a day of work for eight hours. Not to mention the half an hour drive there, the half an hour drive back, the half hour lunch. It's like 10 hours of my day and I'm making way less and now I'm freaking out. Now I'm starting to do, you know, multiplication and be like, dude, how much is this a year? I'm freaking out. By the by the fourth week, I'm making a thousand a day, dude, a thousand a day. OK, so in a four week span, I went from saying nothing's going to happen, but I'm going to jump in and try it to making a thousand dollars a freaking day. And now I'm doing multiplication on that. And I am freaking out because that's $30,000 a month, right? And I was able to pull that off literally within the first month. It's not because I'm a wizard. I mean, I do know a lot about it, but it's because I jumped in and I tried it and I had a good idea for it. And, you know, it really paid off. And, you know, I did my research to see exactly how to rank videos, exactly how to, you know, do all the things you need to do. And just by studying other people who were successful, and, and mimicking that, but the, the key is you have to jump in and try things, okay? And I'm going to continue to say that because it, had I not, had I just, you know, fallen into the trap of this isn't going to work, this isn't going to make me money, I wouldn't have gotten to that point. And then once I saw the that happen, I was like, okay, yeah, but I bet you they're not going to put it in my bank account. Then I started Googling how many times does it not get put in your bank account, all that kind of stuff. And I, I was still skeptical. I'm like, okay, yeah, so I was supposedly made 30000 the first month. There's no way they're going to actually put that in my bank account. So then I started thinking that way. And then, boom, next, <laughs> next thing you know, you know, they put it in my bank account. Direct deposit, $30,000. I think it was like 28000 Oh, my gosh, dude. That right there is is what sets you off okay i mean that's almost what i was making in a year going to work for an entire freaking year okay and just by jumping in and trying something for a week or two and you know dedicating a little bit of my time and a little bit of my effort um that opened my eyes and once you get that first check you you go from saying you know this isn't possible i can't do it or these guys on youtube are lying to me they're not actually making the money that they say they are but as soon as you get your bank to get hit with that first paycheck it completely is like a light bulb you go dude this is possible this is real this is not a lie nobody was lying to me and i can do it most of all Okay, all because you jumped in. So, do jump in. Make a YouTube channel today. You don't have to buy my course. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying jump in and try it yourself and see if you can make it happen. And then if you need help, dude, I'm here to help you. But, you know, just jump in and try something. The course, I built my first Shopify course, right? And the whole time I was making it, I'm thinking no one's going to even watch this. I don't even know why I'm wasting my time making this. Uh, people are probably not going to buy my course. Why would they? Um, you know. There's other courses out there that are probably not going to buy mine. Not only that, once I uh, start telling people about my course, they're probably going to unsubscribe for me and they're probably going to think I'm annoying, think I'm a sellout. And so, but I tried it anyway because I knew from the other two things that if you jump in and try things, sometimes, you know, really, really good things happen. So I, you know, advertised my Shopify course. First day, 2000 bucks. Okay. <laughs> and so. You know, not only that, but it was well received and a lot of good feedback and people were enjoying the course and people were happy that I made a course. People were like, yes, I'm so glad you finally made a course and they jumped in and bought it, you know. And so, again, I thought I was going to get a bunch of negative feedback. I thought nobody was going to buy it. I thought, you know, people were going to be mad that I even made a course. On the contrary, they were very happy and they enjoyed the course and they were glad I made one. And it made me a, a whole lot more money than I thought I did than it would. And so then from that point, you know, then I make the YouTube course and you guys are freaking loving that, which is just freaking amazing. And you guys are making a ton of money with Shopify and YouTube courses that I've made. And that feels so good for me. But dude, it's also, you know, making me a lot of money, which is freaking amazing because again, it was something I didn't think was going to work, but I jumped in and I just tried it. Okay. And that's what that's what the main point of this is, is you need to jump in and try things, okay? That's the number one. Find a mentor. Find someone who can help you learn along the way if you need it because uh, some people do. I'm very self-motivated, and I'm really good at figuring out what I need to figure out. Um, 
And so I've also point I have a whole lot of confidence. But when you get your first paycheck from the internet and you make your first passive income when you're sitting by the pool and then you get paid, that feeling becomes addicting, guys. Um, when you're you know out playing golf or whatever you like to do and you, you look at your phone every time you look, you've made more money. That's the best feeling in the world, guys, and it's the ultimate freedom. And then when you start doing multiplication of, oh, I can make this, and then I'm going to end up scaling up to this, and I'm going to end up scaling up to this, and then I can make a million in a year. Like, it just it just exponentially grows. And the other cool thing is that everything that I've learned, I've been able to take into the next thing I've tried. So um, when I first originally you know, made my first conspiracy YouTube channel, I learned a lot about how to push masses into a certain place and then what to do with those guys once I get them there. And then I – in how to, you know, kind of advertise that freely on YouTube. Then I was able to take what I learned there, move it into Shopify, and then I learned a lot about ads and I learned more about how to push people onto a certain place. But I also learned how to get people to actually purchase, the psychology of getting them to purchase. Then I was able to use that same stuff to sell some courses as well. And so it's all just been built up to where I've, you know, they all kind of are the same sort of thing. You just learn a new skill every time you try something new. Um, and so now putting that all together, I have learned so much over the past year that I didn't even realize. And I've been able to take that into buying my first car. So I bought a new car last week, and I'll probably make a video on this, but I negotiated that dude down probably $15,000. I probably saved $15,000 on that new car that I bought. Um, and... I guarantee a lot of that came from just learning about business over the past year on my own. And I feel like I could go in and like freaking run a company at this point. Like I've learned so much about business that I didn't even realize that I, I feel like I could go out in the world if I wanted to. Not that I ever want to get a job again, but I feel like I have so much more confidence this year than I did last year. Business in general or just, you know, running something or making money. Like I feel like I've learned marketing, whatever. I feel like I've learned so much because I just jumped in and it all started with that little YouTube channel about conspiracy theories and has, has branched out into me you know, hoping to make a million dollars this year, which is freaking nuts. And so you just need to jump in guys. Like, you know, I was freaking, I went to college, you know, and I, I don't recommend doing that unless you really, really know what you want to do. Okay. Because I went to college just thinking, Oh, I'm just going to get some type of cubicle job. Right. Um, I ended up being freaking $60,000 in debt because I ended up getting a master's degree and I wasn't working while I was going to school and all this crap. And so, you know, I ended up $60,000 in debt, you know, finally getting it, you know, almost able to pay that off at this point. Um, and you know, it's just, it's just crazy, man. It's just crazy. And so I don't recommend you go to college unless you really, really know what you want to do. And if you are going to go to college, at least like try some of this stuff while you're doing that, because this might end up being a way bigger payoff because at this point I know that I'm, you know, not planning on ever going back to a job again, not using that degree in any way, but I had to waste $60,000 on it. Um, but you know, it depends what kind of person you are. Like, you're the kind of person who sits back, doubts, doesn't trust yourself, and isn't going to jump in and try things. Or are you the type of person that, you know, you need somebody to push you every day? Because if you need someone to push you every day and you don't have that motivation, then you might need to go to college and just get a job and, you know, whatever. But for me, you know, I see an opportunity and I know how to go get it and I know how to learn what I need to learn. I know how to keep myself motivated and consistent. And so, you know, for me, entrepreneurship is the best thing. And the cool thing about it is when you go to a job, you're not going to make any more one day than you do another day. Me, if I work hard, if I do something different in one day, I can see a $5,000, $10,000 increase in one day just by doing that. And so that's addicting to me. Just what can I do to step it up to the next level and continue to step it up? But it all started with just trying something new that I didn't think would work that ended up working better than I ever could have imagined. And that's happened with everything that I've tried it happened with that conspiracy YouTube channel. It happened with this buy nine to five channel. I was like, Oh, no one's going to listen to me teach about Shopify. Yeah. I know a lot about it, but so do a lot of other people. They're not going to watch it. Um, you guys freaking love my channel <laughs> and, and that shocked me as well. And I didn't even think I was going to get any views and the thing had blown up. Right. Um, and you know, I didn't think that anyone was going to buy anything from my Shopify store, but freaking tons of people do. I didn't think anybody was going to buy my courses. Freaking tons of people do. All those things have made me like freaking 10 times what I thought they would make me every single one of them, maybe even more than that. Um, 
you know, I was I was hoping to hopefully get another fifty bucks a day or whatever, like <laughs> out of out of the internet. That was my goal, and now I'm sitting here saying I might make a million dollars in a year. And it's all just mindset. It's all confidence. It's all not just sitting there and learning things all day long, but actually attempting things because you never know what you will attempt will end up working. And that's kind of the main thing with this. You never know what you're going to attempt will end up working. So don't limit yourself by not attempting it because of your own negativity or laziness or anything else. So jump in and try things, guys, because you do not want to – who knows how many thousands of dollars you have already left on the table by not – by, by not believing in yourself or by not wanting to waste a couple hundred dollars or by not wanting to um, waste a little bit of time or a little bit of effort. Uh, who knows how many, you know, you guys all might be millionaires right now if you would have done that. And, you know, I, I, I believe myself enough to actually jump in and try things. And it has just been so much better than I thought it would be. Um, and so that's what you guys need to keep in mind and just jump in, try things. It's very, very important to do that. Um, and so that's about all I have for this video. Um, just hopefully this motivates you guys to jump in and actually try things. Um, and I think it'll be very, very helpful for you guys. And you guys might literally just shoot to the moon without even thinking that any of that was possible. Um, but don't fall into that trap of not believing in yourself. Don't fall into that trap of not continually trying new things. Don't continue to just watch videos and learn and not implement anything that you watch. Um, just jump out and try things on your own because what do you have to lose? Okay, and don't listen to any negativity if you you know some people they'll make a YouTube channel They'll make their first video They'll get a couple negative comments and they'll be like, oh, that's it. This isn't for me. You have to avoid all that because and I'm learning this more as I go along the more successful you get the more people get mean Okay, and it's because of jealousy and nothing else Okay, the the more successful you get the more people want to see you fail Okay, the more successful you get the more people want you to fail. They want to see, you know, and then they want to bash you and be like, oh, you know, you do this or you do that, and that's messed up. And it's just because they're jealous because they're still going to a nine to five and making nothing, you know, living paycheck to paycheck. And you're over here, rich, doing whatever you want all day long, and that makes them mad. So instead of trying what you teach, they instead want to just bash it, okay? And that's, that's, that's the internet that's the internet today in general you look on social media all there's is people bashing each other that are successful right um so don't fall into that trap guys that's <laughs> just don't fall into that trap just try things just try things i guarantee um every single one of you can make a million dollars or more online i guarantee every single one of you has a skill and a niche that you could find inside the internet whether it's youtube whether it's shopify affiliate marketing Whatever it is, you guys all have a skill selling courses. Whatever it is, you guys all have a skill if you just jump in and try it, okay? Um, so that's all I have for this video. Hopefully this guys gives you guys some motivation. Um, and that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm out. Peace.